Hello, this is Bruce with Webucator. In this video, I'm going to show you a solution Make Vandergag came up with that involved creating a custom list view with JavaScript and the JS link property. Make agreed to let us create this video showing his solution, which is available as an article on his blog at the URL shown here. For this demonstration, I've created a custom list and I've added one custom column to that list which you can see here in my display, and that's this uh, status column. I'll add a new item so you can see the choices in the status column. We'll call this site 11. Basically, it's got three choices, not started, in progress, and done. We'll set this one to not started and save it. And what I'd like to do is create a view, a custom view, that shows the progress, the three status values, and a pie chart type view. So to create this, I'm going to go ahead and first create a new view. So I'll use my list tab, and then I'll use my create view option. And at first, I'm just going to use the standard view. We'll call this pie view. So there's my pie view, which looks no different from the normal standard all items view, but we're going to use some JavaScript and a special JS link property that comes with SharePoint 2013 and allows me to link in the JavaScript that can override the normal default rendering of the items in the list and basically let us create whatever we want. And in this case, we want to create an animated pie chart based on the status column. The JavaScript that's necessary for this demonstration, you can get from Make's blog post. I've already got the JavaScript copied from his post and pasted into my uh, Visual Studio editor here. I'm not going to go through every line of this JavaScript code, but to point out a few key points, you can see here at the top, I'm registering this namespace migration status, and this will ensure that all my JavaScript methods, uh, variables, properties, the names that I use won't conflict with any of the other JavaScript that gets downloaded. SharePoint tends to download quite a bit of JavaScript, and I want to make sure that there's no name conflicts. So I've got this migration status namespace that I've registered. And then along with that, I've stored some string properties that I'll use for some comparisons. And then I've got some numeric values that will ultimately feed in to the tool that we'll use to create the actual pie chart. So we've got a numeric value for items done, in progress, and not started. And as we go through the list items, we'll increment the number and feed that resulting number into the pie chart creator tool, which will render a portion based on uh, based on the values from these numeric variables. I should mention that the tool that's actually going to create the pie chart we're downloading from this chartjs.org site. So this is the bulk of the JavaScript that I'm not actually writing, but we're downloading and making use of that to actually render the animated pie chart, the JavaScript that I'm currently displaying here in Visual Studio is what actually calls that JavaScript code and feeds in the values from my SharePoint list to display the colored portions of the chart, which you'll see when I get to the end. One other real key piece to this is this line of code right here. So this function, I'll show you at the very end of my JavaScript file, I actually call manually call this JavaScript function. And one of the things that this function does is it uses this register template overrides method from this SP client templates template manager class. And from that, I feed in this migration status context object, which I initialize here. This is what gets, uh, this is what gets SharePoint to go ahead and call my JavaScript code in place of the normal code, normal rendering. Instead, my code will take over and whatever rendering is being produced by my code, that's what I'm ultimately going to see on my SharePoint page. And that's exactly what I'm after. Below here is kind of the main code that loops through and increments those numeric values based on the status column. So each item is going to be fed into my list using this context variable that's going to be passed in, actually at the call to function. Uh, and then as each item is being read by this JavaScript block with this if condition, we're looking through and again incrementing the numbers based on the status column in progress, not started, and or done. 
And then if I scroll down a little bit more, get a little bit of JavaScript. This piece here is what takes the numbers, items not started, items done, and in progress. That's the numeric values, and it's storing it into this array, PyData array, that's being fed in to the chart.js script file that you download separately. And we're feeding that in to this function, donut function, and that's what's ultimately going to render our colored pie view of our information, of our data. And then finally, at the very end of the JavaScript is where I call the function that starts the whole thing off. And again, this file, this migration status file I've called up here, what you need to do is upload that to the SharePoint site, and then we'll use this link.js. I'll walk through doing that. And once this file gets uh, gets linked and gets called and downloaded by the client, this function at the bottom will be called, which will start the whole process off and ultimately render it in this nice graphical chart. So going back to my SharePoint site, I've already uploaded the JavaScript files. If I go to my site contents, I chose the site assets library. I created a folder called migration. And then I've got the chart.js file. That's the one that I downloaded. And then I've got the one that you saw me walking through the actual code, the migration status JS file. So those are my two JavaScript files. So now what I need to do is go back to my migration list. We'll go to my Pi view, and we're going to edit this view and link those JavaScript files. So with this view open, I'll use my little cogwheel up in the upper right hand corner, and I'll use the edit page option. And what I want to do is I want to edit the web part that is being used by the list view or is being dis or is displaying the list view. So I'm going to use the little arrow in the right hand corner of the web part, drop it down, use the edit web part option. And in the web part properties panel, I've got a miscellaneous section that I want to expand. And what I'm looking for, if I scroll down a little bit more, is this JS link. And all I've got to do is link my JavaScript files. And you can link multiple JavaScript files by using a pipe sign, which is what I'm going to do. I can also specify my site or site collection by using this special tilde in site property. Then I'll use my library site assets and then my folder migration. And we'll do first the chart file. Then I'll use the pipe sign path for the other JavaScript, my migration JavaScript file, the site slash site assets slash migration slash migration status dot js click apply click ok and i can already see my animation is taking effect i'm going to stop editing the page and there is my nice little animated pie chart i can hover over the colored sections looks like i've got six that have a status of not started three that are in progress and two that are done it's clean it's fairly simple to create and the bottom line is with that JS link property, any view, any list view, I can completely take over the rendering using JavaScript and make it display pretty much whatever I want. Thanks again to Make Vandergag for the inspiration for this video. You can find more articles by Make on his blog at the address shown here. That's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it.